welcome to the chat room. Who is this? Where are you calling from? I can't talk. Hey, this is uh, Base God 14. You can also call me Eric. I'm Eric. calling from Arizona. Arizona. Base God. Okay. What is on your mind tonight, Eric? Well, well, first off, I've interacted with you quite a bit on Twitter, so it's nice to actually talk to you. So, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, ha, ha. Um, Yeah, I get harassed a lot on Twitter, so that's no problem there. That's part of the fun of Twitter. Yeah, but uh, I wanted to uh, compliment you on that video you did on the, uh, I think it's the Marvel Legends retro series, the the, the kind of Kenner-inspired series. Uh, really great video. I think that's an underrated, uh, you know, underrated product these days. I think, if you're not buying it now, I think that's one of the few toy lines within five, ten years people's going to wish they picked up. Yeah, I think it's, you had a great take because it really is almost like a what-if toy line like what if kenner had done you know marvel right and i've seen some people saying they just wish it had more uh joints in them and articulation but you get away from the retro look if you start putting too much architecture uh too many joints and stuff on a figure so i can understand why it's just that basic 80s look yeah i mean uh i mean look at the uh the star wars retro line right they're doing the same thing again even new figures are trying to make them in that 80s you know kenner style yeah, yeah. I mean, Retro's big right now it's for every toy company, not just Hasbro. So I just wish Hasbro would do more of it instead of doing one series a year. I don't understand why they're very limited with it. And that's kind of one of the neat things about that Marvel line, because I think they've done, uh, you mentioned in your video too, they've done a lot more characters yeah, it was than I almost, think they've even done in the Star Wars line. Almost 30, well, I was counting right, close to 30. Yeah, that's that, that's that's the last line that I've been collecting at all as far as new stuff. And like I said in my video, I just can't buy it yet, but I want to. But I just know if I buy one, I'm going to want them all, and that's thirty ten dollars a pop. That's a lot of money. Hey, hey, by the way, we did have something in common because I did get the Spider Man. One of my kids wanted it, so I gave it to my kid. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been meaning to go back. They, I didn't talk about it in the video. I should have. There was a two pack that they released. That looked like a comic book, and the figures were inside of it. My Walmart had those on clearance, but still wasn't cheap enough, and I never pulled the trigger on them. I wish I got those. Yeah, I guess that's that's from the original release. Yeah, I call yeah. it like um, Series Zero. Like I guess that was on the the the, the Hasbro Pulse or whatever. Yeah, and then they ended up at Walmart, I think. I think the cards are a little different, if I'm right. Yeah, I mostly go to Target, so that that's where I've seen them, and they don't have those ones yet. And well, I don't know if they ever will. If you go to Target, I'll ask you and anyone in the chat, has anybody found that Boba Fett on the droids card? Oh, I would love to find that. I, I've only got one Target near me, and it's 20 miles away almost. So I don't get to check it often. Yeah, I'm definitely – that's one that I'm also would be on the lookout for. Like, like I'm more vintage. You know, I, I like the older stuff better. But yeah. as far as new stuff goes, like I said, the Marvel line and that droids figure I think would be so cool. Yeah, that, I will. I might pick up those three, the three PO and R two on the droids card. Also, I don't know. I would have to see them in person first, but I would definitely get Boba Fett. Yeah, that's. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna let you go. See who else we've got on here. But I want to thank you for calling. Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>